Hi, welcome to our math. I'm doing a series of videos on finance equations. This one says Gilly and her sister Sasha each inherited $25,000. Gilly puts her money in an account that earns 4% interest compounded weekly. Sasha needs part of the money right away and decides to start an annuity where she puts $25 into the account each week. The annuity has 5.2% APR compounded weekly. So they're both at a weekly um, interest rate. How much will each sister have in 30 years? Okay, so for Gilly, she has a lump sum. And this equation right here is your lump sum equation. This is what you use when it's one and done. So for Gilly, let's see, the principal for both of them is going to be $25,000. The rate for Gilly is 4 divided by 100, which is 0 0.04. N, number of times that the interest accrues each year. It's weekly, so that's 52 times a year. And T, the number of years, is 30. So what this equation means, she invests $25,000. It is 4% a year, so this... 4% is her yearly interest, but it's being broken down and 1 52nd of it is applied each week. The reason that we like compound interest is when that interest is applied, it gets added back into the principal and you start earning interest on your interest after one week. Because this is applied 52 times a year, we need to take this to the 52 times 30, 52 times a year for 30 years. If we throw this into a calculator, we find out that at the end of 30 years, Gilly has earned, hasn't earned, has in her account $82,964.64. So what she's earned in interest, if we subtract the $25,000 out of this, is she's gotten $57,964.64. Dollars and 64 cents in interest. So she's overly, she's done more than tripling her money because this is all the interest she has earned on this account. Now for Seisha, because she is putting $25 each week and she's growing it slowly, we use the second equation. The second equation basically says, you repeatedly put money into an account, how much do you have? That's not what the R stands for, I just, that's our annuity formula. Okay. So for Seisha, she still has the same principal of $25,000. Her interest rate is 0 0.052, 5.2% divided by 100. Her number of times per year is also 52, and her time is also 30 years. So for an annuity, what these I's and N's mean, I is just taking a shortcut of this, it's taking the 0 0.052 and dividing it by 52 right away and finding out that that number, I don't have it in my notes, is 0 0.001. And this N is the same as the NT. It's taking the 30 times the 52. I'm just going to leave that in as is. So A equals, and I'm going to show you both ways of writing it. So if you look at this, this I is up top and it's down below. So one way of writing this, R, I didn't put her R. She's putting $25 away. Okay, it's 25 times. I can either do one plus 0 0.052 divided by 52 to the 52 times 30. This looks a lot like what we did with Gilly, but then we need to subtract one and divide by this interest again. In this case, I'm just gonna write the zero, zero. One. I could have written the fraction again. If we multiply this out, we find out that at the end of 30 years, Seisha has dun, 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 $93,877.83. But here's the shtick. It looks like she's made so much more. I mean, Gilly has this 80, just under 83, and Seisha almost has 84. But Seisha put $25 into the account every week for 30 years, which means out of pocket, Seisha put in $39,000. Gilly only put in 25,000. Seisha put in 39. If 
we subtract out that 39, we find out where Gilly earned 57, almost $58,000 in interest, Seisha's interest is $54,877.83. So Seisha's actually earned less because she's had to build her money and she only came close at all because she continued past 25,000 quite a bit. So the lump sum is definitely the faster way to earn money. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks.